Hello and welcome back to my channel. The latest edition of the Silmarillion is here finally and in this video I should discuss a bit about its properties and about uh, what's novelty in this edition in contrary uh, with uh, previous editions as as well uh, all those things that are different here regarding the uh, previous editions. As we all know the Silmarillion is published, unfortunately, posthumously on 1977, uh, thanks to Christopher Tolkien and uh, Guy Gabriel Kay. This um, is the very first uh, edition in UK with a specific uh, cover designed by uh, Tolkien himself, with this heraldy of uh, Luthien. And the very first illustrated edition of the Silmarillion was published in 1998 by Harper Collins, and uh, it contained uh, 11 uh, colour plates by Ted Nysmith uh, on a glossy paper, as you may see here, and as well contained a map of Valerian on the front cover. The second illustrated edition was published in 2004, and it contained 45 plates uh, with illustrations, uh, in a quite large format, I, I would say. If we compare the formats of the previous, the first edition of the Silmarillion and this second illustrated, we may perceive that this second uh, edition is quite larger in format than the first one. And the entire book is printed on a, a glossy, a bold paper and it's all shiny uh, all around. And so you may see the reflection if you read it uh, under the radiant gland. And now I should scrutinize in details uh, this marvelous uh, newest edition of the Silmarillion as I did with the Unfinished Tales in one of my previous videos. Thus, take a seat and stay tuned. And this latest edition of the Silmarillion is designed now traditionally uh, in the same manner as the previously published Unfinished Tales and as you may see here they are completely matched. The book itself is housed in a custom-built uh, slipcase illustrated with the wraparound artwork of burning the ships marvelously and when you unwrap it you will find this note which is uh, common uh, with the HarperCollins uh, editions of the same manner and uh, you will read here that uh, this uh, edition is printed in merely uh, 4,000 copies worldwide, which is as well as the uh, previously mentioned, the uh, edition of the Unfinished Tales, uh, quite limited edition, I would say. The book itself is cloth-bound hardback, printed in uh, orange hue, and this material uh, resembles as much of a stiffer gauze, as you may see the texture. And these titles are printed in a dry stamp fashion uh, with a golden foil. And on the upper part we may see an insert miniature of Magla, uh, which is casting a Silmaril into the sea. Uh, which was also on the cover of the first uh, illustrated edition from 1998. The ribbon marker is included and all the chapters are of the same uh, orange hue uh, as the cover is. And when you open the book you'll find inside two presents, two double-sided fold-out posters uh, where on uh, the first uh, side are uh, printed white ships of Falinor, of course by, t by Ted Nasmith, and on the opposite side is uh, a Luthien at Torgallon. 
to Galen is settled in Assyriand, amidst the waters of uh, the river Adurant, as you may see here. Here is the tall garden. And this is the second present. Uh, it's the foldable map of Beleriand in full color. And the quite novelty uh, regarding this edition, which uh, we may uh, read here on this uh, note, uh, is that the version of the text is definitive and specially reset for this edition. Um, I'm not quite sure what exactly that means, but uh, I will scrutinize it in the next few days and then uh, I will find out what it is all about. And um, as I mentioned earlier, nearly 50 color uh, illustrations are present, uh, 49 precisely. And the four delicate pencil drawings uh, for the four parts of the book and so it, they are settled on a vestibule of each chapter. And the first one is Ainulindale, the creation of uh, Arda and Air. The second one is Quenta Silmarillion, the history of the Silmarils. There is Luthien in Hamluk. The third is Akalabeth, or the downfall of Numenor. And the last one is of the Rings of Power and the Third Age. And the entire book is printed on a heavyweight acid-free paper, which is quite thick, and uh, which all makes uh, this book uh, much, much uh, stiffer uh, than the previous uh, editions. Although uh, uh, it contains the same uh, number of, of, of the pages as all the previous uh, editions. And my only small reproach as well as with the finished tales is that uh, the illustrations are not printed in a glossy paper, uh, which uh, quite diminished uh, their beauty. And uh, as well, uh, their hue is somewhat murky. Uh, in comparison with the previous uh, editions, but I consider that uh, this, uh, to say, reproach uh, comes from a fact that the book is printed on that heavyweight acid-free paper, uh, which does not reflect uh, the light, as you may see, um, which is quite well if you prefer to read uh, in night time and under the lamplight. As I said, these pages will not reflect both natural or artificial uh, light. Contrarywise to this uh, large formatted uh, edition, which is printed all in uh, such manner on a glossy paper, and as you may see here, it reflects a lot of light, especially this artificial. And when you read it, in your night time, uh, you will have a problem uh, with these reflections. But the positive but aspect of this edition is at first this uh, large format, which I prefer, and uh, the hues of the illustrations, uh, which is uh, uh, quite natural, and the order of the pages, which I indulge much. Uh, the, uh, and in comparison with this edition, uh, the newest one uh, contains four illustrations more than this uh, previous edition. And those are uh, the first, Turgon at Fingolfin's Cairn. Uh, Cairn is a mound of stones uh, built as a memorial or landmark, uh, usually at the hilltop, and it's typical for Celts. And um, I'm perceiving of this illustration for the very first time, and I may say that it is uh, quite extraordinary, especially with the uh, gondolin uh, on the back and this marvelous cairn on, the, on this hilltop. The second one is previously mentioned Luthien at Tall Gallen, uh, that green island. Mind. Then the third one, the slaying of the Glaurung, the utmost formidable scene. And one of my favorite 
scenes from the entire Silmarillion. Extraordinary, extraordinary. Excellent. And the last one is Arendil search Tyrion upon Tuna to ask for help from the gods for the human race and the elves. And I will mention in brief some other illustrations just to to uh, to enclose uh, for you. Uh, this is one of uh, I, I may say all, all these illustrations are my favorites because uh, the Silmarillion is the my favorite book of all times, and I'm quite attached to to this book. So any of these uh, illustrations are uh, quite dear. Uh, uh, to me, and um, I'm very bond to all of these graphics. This one is Aule prepares to destroy his children, uh, dwarves. Formidable scene. Then, Fingolfin leads the host across the Halkarax. Beautifully, in such a details, all these. I see sparkles here. Then the picture from the box, the burning of the ships. Then Maedros rescue from Thangorodrim when he lost his hand. The gates of Syrian, the largest river in Beleriand. Then Al's Bane, Fingolfin's Wrath, he is up to the Morgoths, Tangorodrim, to chase him. The Orc host is ambushed in Brethel. Perceive, perceive those details of the helms and the shields. Glorious scene. Morgoth. Morgoth punishes Hurin to sit on his throne and to gaze upon the doom of his people. The Hill of Slain. Cyrus' fatal leap. There he goes, all naked. Amon Sul, where Mim dwelt. Beleg is slain. Such a bereavement, he was such a devoted friend. Turin bears Gwindo to safety, and here he's wearing a dwarf's mask and Gwindo. Findulas is slaved by Glaurung, and Turin is mesmerized with Gurtang, and he cannot perceive them and their just passing by him. Hurin finds Morven. Another quite sad scene. Tuor follows the swans to Vinyamar. Beautifully illustrated scene. It's quite different from Alan Lee's perspective. Then the illustration from the cover, Maglo which casts the Silmaril into the sea. And so on for the last chapter, the forging of the One Ring. Well, that would be all for this uh, short presentation of this newest edition of the Illustrated Silmarillion. Um, if you have some questions regarding this video or any of, of videos from my channel, you may find me on the email which is listed uh, in, in the description. As well, you may find there my uh, Instagram page, so you, you, we may communicate there um, as well. The next video, thank you for your attention and goodbye.